Hello everyone. So today I am going to show you on how to convert SOP expression into POS expression. So let's get started. So for the first question, the given expression is a canonical SOP expression. So the step to convert this expression into POS form is quite simple. For the first step, we have to identify the mean term. So for SOP, 1 is the variable and 0 is the complement of the variable. So for A, B, C, this is equivalent to 1, 1, 1. For the second term, is equivalent to 1, 0, 0. The third term is equal to 1, 0, 1. The fourth term is 1, 1, 0. And the fifth term is 0, 0, 1. So if we convert this 3-bit binary into decimal, we get um, 7, 4, 5, 6, and 1. Uh, by, doing, uh, by using this number, we can express um, it into the sum of the mean term, like this. Next, we have to find the missing, um, mean, uh, the missing number in this expression. So the missing numbers are 0, 2, and 3. Um, using this missing number, um, we need to express it into the product of the max term, like this. Next, we use um, this number to uh, express the POS form. So, um, to avoid confusion, um, I want to convert this number into the binary first. So, for 0 is 0, 0, 0, 2 is 0, 1, 0, and 3 is 0, 1, 1. For POS, 0 is the variable while 1 is the complement of the variable. So it's different from SOP. So let's change this number into the max term. So for 0, 0, 0 is um, A plus B plus C. For 0, 1, 0 is A plus B naught plus C. And for 0, 1, 1 is equal to A plus B naught plus C naught. So um, the POS uh, expression would look uh, like this Okay, so moving on to the next question Okay, so this expression is different from the previous one because this is a simplified version of SOP So because of uh, this is not a canon canonical SOP we have to convert it first into a canonical form so then we can proceed to convert it into a POS form so what we have to do here is we need to insert the missing uh, literal which is variable or its complement by using rule number 6 where a plus a naught is equal to 1. So um, if you look at the first term, um, the first term don't have uh, the variable x and z and for the second term um, it don't have the variable y. So we have to put two ones uh, in the first term and one one for the second term. It will be like this. So why uh, exactly we have to put um, the multiplication of one for each um, term? This is because we don't want to change the original expression but we want to insert the missing variable. So um, we have to put one so we can apply the rule number six and put the missing variable into each term. So um, for the first term, we can input x plus x0 and z plus z0. For the second term, we can insert y plus y0. So it will be like this. Next step is we just uh, expand the bracket. So um, for this part, there is a repeat, repeated terms, which is this guy and this guy. So by using rule number 5, uh, which is a plus a is equal to a. That means x y not z not plus x y not z not is equal to x y not z not. Okay, so um, this is the final expression of canonical SOP. So then we can proceed to convert it into POS form. Um, the step is the same as the previous one. We identify the mean term first. So reminder, uh, 1 is variable and 0 is the complement of variable. So this is 101, one. this is 100, one zero zero. 
this is 001, this is 000, and this is 110. So um, by using this number, we can express it into the um, sum of the mean term. Next, identify the missing numbers, which is um, 2, 3, and 7 for this case, and express it, uh, express it as the product of the max term. Next, um, we use the numbers and convert it into the max term. So, first I want to convert into the binary number to avoid any confusion. And using this rule, once again, for reminder, the 0 is variable and 1 is the complement of the variable. Okay, so um, for 0, 1, 0 is x plus y0 plus z, 0, 1, 1 is x plus y0 plus z0, and 1, 1, 1 is x0 plus y0 plus z0. So, um, the final answer is here. Okay, this is a uh, this is the canonical form of POS. So instead of doing this, because the question didn't ask either it wants a canonical or non-canonical POS form. So um, I can show you uh, how to express the SOP expression into the non-canonical POS form, which is the simplified version of POS form. So let's get back to the earlier, uh, earlier part where um, this equation is not um, inserted any missing variables. So um, instead of um, doing the step where we put the uh, we apply the rule number six, we have to apply the Morgan's theorem, where the complement of a plus b is equal to a naught and b naught, and the complement of a and b is equal to a naught plus b naught. So first step, we have to bar both uh, sides like this and applying the Morgan theorem, we can break this bar into this and break this bar into this. So if you notice here, the complement of Z0 is equal to Z based on rule number 5. Okay, so it will be like this. Next, we can expand it and then um, we have to bar both sides once again because we have to um, cancel out the bar over here so it will be like this then applying the Morgan theorem we can break this bar notice that this left hand side don't have any bar anymore okay next um, we still have to apply the Morgan theorem and it will be like this. Then for this guy here, we need we need to apply the rule number five. So this is the final answer for non-canonical POS form. Okay. So if you try to expand the bracket and simplify it, you will get the original expression. Next, I want to show you on how to converting the simplified POS into the standard POS which is uh, the canonical form of POS. So um, the step is pretty similar for converting um, the simplified SOP to standard SOP but instead of using 1, we have to use 0 here. So we have to apply rule number 8 where A and A0 is equal to 0. So for each max term, we can insert uh, plus zero in the bracket like this. Then applying the rule number eight, we can insert the missing variables. So we insert z and z naught in the first max term, and insert x and x naught for the second max term. Next, um, what we have to do? We cannot expand any bracket because this is not a multiplication. So we have to use another rule, which is rule number twelve which is a plus b and c is equal to a plus b and a plus c. So it will be like this. So um, if we look at here, um, I think, yeah, these two guys here, this is a repeat, repetitive, repeated um, terms. So actually, um, when a times a is equal to a. So for this 
um, term times this term it is actually equal to the same term so it will be like this so um, this is the final um, expression of pure s uh, the standard pure s so if you convert it into the expression of product of max term you will get you will get the same answer um, uh, like the previous one so this um, step is correct so i think that's all from me so thank you for listening i hope you guys um, get a um, few uh, knowledge from this example thank you